Yo, today I'm going to be breaking down how to do this really cool mixed media paper animation effect in After Effects. So make sure to stick to the end and let's get right into it. So it's actually really simple. All I have to do is print off the single frame from the video that I want. And I do that by going into Premiere Pro and I'll put my cursor on the frame that I want to do the animation on. Then I'll click this little camera button. This is the quick export button that really comes in handy. I'll just choose a destination for the image like my desktop or a new folder and make sure it's in a JPEG or PNG format. So then I'll just put this into a Google Doc and print it out. And if you guys don't have a color printer, it's all good. You can always add in some color later digitally. So for your workspace, you want something to put underneath your piece of paper so you don't mess up your table like this measuring board that I have here. But if you don't have that, you could also use a cutting board or a piece of cardboard. You'll also need an X-Acto knife. Now I'll set up the phone on a tripod. So I do have a Sony DSLR that I'm shooting on right here, but I find for this, it's just easier to do it on a phone and I'll angle it down to match up pretty much perfectly with the frame. Keep in mind that we're going to be transitioning from the regular footage to the animation. So you have to keep the edges lined up. And this process is generally easy and should only take a few minutes. So I'm gonna cut out the eyes and a little bit of the outline and then put in some random scratches everywhere. So for the first frame, I'll start cutting out the eyes just barely. Then I'll create a small cut on the outline. Now I'll repeat this process with each frame, just cutting out more and more. And it's up to you how many frames you want this to last for. So basically think of each picture that you're taking on your phone as an actual frame in Premiere Pro or After Effects. And that'll kind of give you a good idea of how many pictures you should take, I guess, when you're doing the animation on your phone and you know in this case I'm just using the exacto knife but you could also use you know colored pencils or markers or just anything you know this is a pretty good way to do any kind of animation and now that I have all these images I'll just pull them up on my computer and drop them into After Effects and this is something you could do in pretty much any editing software so After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro so once I drop them all in here I'll shorten the length of each one to last one to four frames it's up to your personal preference and this is what the animation is looking like so so far. So my favorite textures that I've been using are these paper textures made by Brian Delamata. And I've been using these for about over a year now. And I've used them in all of my 2D animations and multimedia animations. It really adds to the aesthetic and makes the end product look way better, especially with mixed multimedia effects. And if you guys are doing any other type of effect involving grain, paper, or anything involving mixed media, this is definitely the way to go. And there's 30 different textures in here, all in 4K quality. Quality, so that really complements this animation. And I have the link to that texture pack in the description if you're interested. And if you guys want 10% off, make sure to use this discount code, JMO in all caps. So all I have to do is drag and drop them into my scene. Then I'll match them up to each frame. Again, lasting for one to four frames, depending on your preference. And it's really starting to come together. So now it's time to add in some assets. So I'll mask out my subject with my pen tool and add in this fire asset that I downloaded from YouTube. I also just downloaded this free paint asset created by Creative Flow. This pack has some sweet paint animations that you can simply drag and drop into your video, which goes really well with this mixed media style. So make sure to go check out Brian's channel and make sure to check out the Creative Flow channel. They both have super useful and valuable music video tutorials for music video production. So now I'm going to pre-compose all of these layers together and add on sapphire grain and I'll adjust the amplitude and frequency until I get something that I like. And then I'll add on Lumetri Color for color correction. And I would definitely recommend using DaVinci Resolve for this step. After Effects is good, Lumetri Color is good, but DaVinci Resolve definitely gives you a lot more flexibility and its overall node system is just much better when it comes to color correction. And if you guys want a little transition in there from your digital footage to your actual multimedia animation, throw on an adjustment layer and add a shake and a glow to it for a nice transition. And now it's all about creating the vibe that you want for your animation. And this is definitely something that'll wow your clients. I know this is something that once I had it in my arsenal, it really like caught people's attention a little bit more because this is a popular effect that you see in lots of music videos, but not really many visual effects artists are using it in their videos so yeah i hope you guys use these assets if you guys like any of the assets or tools i used in the video make sure to check out the description i appreciate you guys for tuning in god bless peace